Hey coaches, in today's video, we're going to talk about the run and shoots version of the mesh concept. Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time visiting my channel and you're wondering what the heck is this about, well let me fill you in. This channel is dedicated to the spread offense. Passing schemes, running schemes, tempo, RPOs, any and everything that has to deal with the spread offense, this is the channel for you. So if that's something that you want to be a part of, you want to be a part of this community, hit that uh, subscribe button down below and then right beside it is a bell notification. Go ahead and click that so you know when I am posting new videos. How Mummy created the mesh concept and Mike Leach put his own spin on it. Well, when How Mummy teamed up with June Jones, June loved the mesh concept, didn't know what he was doing, didn't never ran the mesh concept, and he was like, holy crap, why didn't I run this concept before? Because it plays into the run and shoots philosophy of find grass, take grass, read what the defense is giving you. So after that first year at SMU, June Jones retired and he took a job in a high school in Hawaii. And at that school, he set records running just five plays. One of them is this very version of the mesh concept. And at the one back clinic, the very first one back clinic I went to a couple of years ago in California, June Jones said he wished he knew about this concept, implemented this concept when he started out, and he would have been unstoppable. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, share it, like, and let's dive into the twist that the run and shoot put on the mesh concept. A little caveat on mesh at a three by one, I really like because of the backside. I don't know how y'all guys do it, but when we play teams and we go three by one, this right here is man to man. And what that means is when you do mesh, you're going to have a lot of space on this side, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, what was the twist that uh, Coach June Jones put in? the mesh concept what did he do to say hey listen how i know you like mesh you got it mike i know you like mesh uh you run it a different way and i, I know y'all like how i'm using the first names <laughs> like i know them as well but he was like listen i'm gonna do me i'm gonna put a little run and shoot flare in it and this is what he did he so for the outside receiver right here and the inside, number three, those were the meshers. That was the guy that was meshing, and the right side made the mesh. And if y'all don't know, the mesh is no more than six yards. Uh, although, when I asked Coach Mummy this at that one back clinic, he said that he didn't really care. If they, He had times when they meshed at three yards, and he was fine with it. He didn't care. But no further than six he sets it, the guy coming across always makes the guy setting it right. So if he sets it at 10, he better be setting it at 9. If he sets it at 35, he better be sitting it, uh, setting it at 34. But if he sets it and makes him right, then the coaches know they're going to fuss at this guy. If he doesn't, if he sets it right and he's over top or way underneath, then they're going to fuss at this guy right here. And the gist of it is once you slap hands and we tell them slap hands, Coach Anthony, what's going on, man? You doing all right? Um, once they slap hands, then they're looking for grass. So if this guy right here, this linebacker, is dropping back, well, then this F right here would just settle up. If this backer starts chasing, and this is where the beautiful thing comes in, or if this corner is chasing, well, then the F would bend it up. And the same thing happens on this side right here. So this it takes a while to freaking get this some people don't th some people think that hey i can run the mesh two days in practice uh and i'm gonna be great at it no this is an every single day drill that you have to do over and over and over again and your guys have to rep it every day it's kind of like the, the the veer you can't run the veer three times in practice and all of a sudden assume that you're going to be great at it and this is what you have to do with the mesh. It's the same thing. You have to rep the mesh every single day. What we did is we had a mesh period where we did the mesh for like 10 minutes. Or if it, if it, I didn't have time for the mesh period, during 7-on-7, seven seven, I literally called mesh an entire series. I just had a row of 6-7 to seven plays that was just mesh, and that's all we did. And during uh, the summer, when we went and played teams, we ran mesh every single time. That's what we did. So you've got you to go all in and say, hey, I'm going to do that. But after that, this is where the magic happens right here. This is where they put the run and shoot flavor at. They ran the switch concept. 
And what the switch concept is, is he is switching places and running up the numbers. The R is switching, and now he is running up the hash. And now they are doing what they do in the run and shoot, which is reading coverage. So the Y is reading the corner. If the corner starts bailing back like this, well, after 10 to 15 yards, the Y is going to set his hand up and just hunker down just like that. If the safety bites up like this, well, then the R is going to take it straight up the field and he's going to go for the touchdown. Or if he switches and the safety over rotates, well, then the R is going to go a straight across like that and run a post. So you've got the run and shoot flavor backside right here, which is amazing. And then if the quarterback comes off of it, he doesn't like it, then he comes back to the mesh. Now, I know what you're saying. Coach, What what's the quarterback's read? What is he doing here? Well, what Coach June Jones did, and I re recorded it and I took notes, was he had the quarterback go one to two and then read to three right here. So one, do I have it? Yes, throw it. No, two, do I have it? Yes, throw it. No, and now I'm reading this. This is the three right here. This is what we're doing. So that is what the run and shoot did right there. That is the tweak that Coach Jones put on the mesh concept. Now, the blocking scheme, he did a five-man protection where they were dropping back like this, and the tailback was in the pass protection. So that's what he did. And this is just a quick video. I just wanted to go ahead and show you the, the twist that the run and shoot did. Um, Thank y'all for being here. Again, I'm just making these little videos every single day for the month of February just to, so we can talk. I know it's clinic season. Thank y'all for coming. What I'm going to do tomorrow, two things. One, I'm going to be talking about the Mike Leach mesh version. And also at 3 o'clock, I am going to be interviewing and having a live online clinic with Coach Patrick Taylor. So if that's something you want, you need to get on the email list, my email list, because that's the only place where I have been uh, advertising it. And you can do that by going to ronmackeyfootball.com. So until next time, coaches, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.